Hello class, Mr. Grino here. In this video, I'm going to illustrate how to use the pen tool. So I'm going to change my stage to something kind of brown. And I'm going to click on the pen tool. And I'm going to draw a cactus. So, pen tool, there's two ways basically to draw with the pen tool. Is you click, and then you click again, and it draws a line in between. My stroke right now is black. And you click, you click, you click, you can keep clicking, and you make a cactus. If you click further away, then you get less points where you can adjust things. So just clicking, basically making lines. A lot of people call this a path because it's connecting one to the other. Don't laugh at my cactus. I know it's terrible. I have no artistic ability, but I'm just showing you how to use the tool. And then click on the close and you have a cactus. And then if you want, you can click on the bucket tool. Choose a color like some sort of green, I guess. And then click on there and you have a cactus. But notice it's all, yeah, it's all pointy, right? So let's do that again. The other way to draw with the um, pen tool is you click once, and the second time when you click, hold down the mouse button um, and drag, and you can get arcs. So maybe something like this. Now, if you click real close and you drag, you get these like sort of really sharp arcs that look kind of weird. So let me undo that. Click further away, hold down and drag. Oh, now I lost my my path, so let me start over. Click once. Click and hold down, drag. I don't know why that line is over there, something goofy. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag. So this is how you can get it more more curvature, obviously. It's more natural. <laughs> I went too close, so now it's sharp over there. Again, my drawing ability is not good. I don't know where that's going. Now, while you're doing this, if you hold down the Alt key, you can lock that point in place and come over more, kind of like ending the, um, the curve. And then you can click and drag again. Let's see who can make the best cactus. I lose. <laughs> and then click there. And, oh my god, that's terrible. But now, what I'm going to do, uh, first I'm going to fill it, right? With that same green color. But if you mess something up and you want to fix it some, you can always go back to the sub-selection tool. And if you click on this, all those clicks that you made, become points that you can adjust. So if I click on, I don't know, this one over here. Now if you get the, the black square next to the arrow and you click, you're moving the whole thing. When you go on the um, the subselection tool and you choose one of these points, when you get the hollow square or the white square, however you look at that, and you click and drag, you're moving just that point. And you could adjust this some if you don't like the way it came out, which I'm making mine worse because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Maybe I should go out a little. I don't know. Okay, so this cactus actually looks more like a cactus. This, I don't know what the heck that is. Like I said, not good with art. Um, but you get the idea. And make sure you save this as pen tool cactus because later in the course, I'm going to have you open your very nice looking cactus, which I'm sure you're going to make. I'm going to have you open that and show you how you could make it look better with some uh, coloring and some shadows or whatever. So, file, save as, always go to your folder and name it pen tool cactus. Thank you.